We're gonna get right into it. So let's talk about monitoring spirits. I was meditating on this energy. We all know we have people who watch us secretly. This is all in, in secret. Some people, it's more obvious. You can tell that they're watching you. Um, you can catch them staring at you or you know even just just keeping tabs on you could be through social media whatever right but there is a different level and this is getting more into the spiritual side of it where this is outside of the 3d this is monitoring spirits and so what that looks like is there are people who are also spiritual, but they are not of the light. They are not essentially doing God's work. These are people who are using their powers to stalk, to gang stalk, to watch people and essentially to steal, kill, and destroy. These are people who oftentimes are, are being used by the devil, right? Now, or workers of the darkness, whatever you want to call it. Either way, these are people who don't have good intentions. So, monitoring spirits, they will sit there, they will meditate, and they will do certain rituals, certain curses, certain, um, they'll work with the moon cycles and they'll oftentimes be in a group of people who are like-minded, who are doing the same thing as well. What that looks like is these people are watching you, they're monitoring you but this is different. This is not like watching you on social media. This is not, um, you know, watching you in person. I mean, it could be, but this is a different level. These are people who are so attached to your energy, to your frequency. They want something that you have. And what that looks like is, oh, I'm, I'm just channeling crazy because I, be burping like this <laughs> excuse me I was meditating on this energy and I kept seeing this like dark figure behind this like these um, these monitors could look like a desktop like a computer but it was monitors and it was like this dark figure with like no face just watching and it was actually watching me. It was so trippy, but I was meditating literally right there. It's my little spot where I meditate. And as soon as I literally, not even like two minutes, it didn't even take me two minutes to get into the, into the you know, meditative zone. I started seeing this vision, having this vision. And it was weird because on the monitor, it was me. It was like a bird's eye view. That's how I knew. That's how I knew it was remote viewing, and that's how I knew it was monitoring spirits because it was a bird's eye view. So, what it is is someone is meditating. They're very. They have very strong spiritual abilities. They're very tapped in, right? But these are people who are not of the light. So they're using their their powers for malpractice. Basically. basically <clears throat> These people are tapping into their higher selves and watching you or watching other people. They're tapping in. They're trying to see what you're doing. They could be trying to see what you're doing, who you're talking to, who you're associating with, who, 
what what plans do you have these are people who they're stalking you but this is spiritual so this is a different level of stalking in retrospect you could look at this and be like damn these people are really obsessed and yes they are for you to sit there and remote view somebody else to use your beautiful powers to watch somebody else is just creepy and very it's giving i'm a fan honestly but anyways i know i'm not the only one going through this in this season after the eclipse after the at Mercury retrograde, there was this very big collective energy. There was a shift. I know y'all are feeling it, chosen ones. I know y'all are feeling it. There was a shift of renewal, rebirth. I'm seeing death, the death card, Scorpio energy. This is a transformative season. My camera literally died in the middle of saying that. <laughs> So as I was saying, <clears throat> seeing the death card, this is, it was a very transformative period for a lot of people. And I know for me, it's like, it's kind of like I had um, a period of isolation. That's what it felt like. And I felt called to do that. So it wasn't like it felt unnatural. It felt normal to do it and I know a lot of people have been feeling this as well so the reason why I'm bringing that up is because I feel as though we collectively had this big shift and we essentially we cleaned out our closet you know we um we cleaned ourselves up we let go of a lot of people that weren't serving us. We were, we're growing, we're evolving, and we were transforming. And yes, that is a constant thing that we do on the daily, of course, but during that specific season, I'm talking the whole month of April, it was a very um, huge renewal energy. And so because of that, a lot of cycles karmic cycles to be specific were closed out um, and as you can see <sighs> there are a lot of people karmics that um, they're not too fond of that they don't like that you see when you begin to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior and you begin to grow and to evolve and you're happy you're at peace when you begin to do that the same time darker energies are trying to they're working overtime to try to stop you because they don't want you to do that they want to keep as much hold on you as possible the devil will always try to drag you down as much as possible. He will use anybody. He doesn't care if it's your family, lover, your kid, your neighbor, your best friend. He does not care. He will use anybody to try and stop you. And when that doesn't work, the devil is just going to try to watch you and stalk you and gang stalk you and he, I mean, it's, it's pretty pathetic, if I'm being honest. It's, it's pretty pathetic. He will try to have people comment nasty things on your post, and he will try to have people interact with you and try to bring you down, and it just doesn't work. It doesn't work. When you find God, and you truly, truly do find God, and you live in that energy of power because you know who your God is, you believe in your God so deeply, nothing can come in between you and that relationship that you have with God. When you have that, literally nothing can phase you. So 
these attempts to try and bring you down failed because you're shift you already shifted you already ascended and you're going to keep ascending and ascending and ascending and it's just like this is why god always wins god is always going to win now the reason why i say that is once all these little scare tactics and yes those are scarcity tactics that darker energies will try to use um to bring you down once that doesn't work what does what does he do what does the devil do the devil tries to use people to monitor you to watch you to see what's coming into the future and this is why a lot of psychics and um tarot readers and people who use divination basically this is why they get such a bad rep because there are a lot of bad people it's the person not the cards I got my deck right here it is not the cards you could feel from the energy i'm not i don't i'm not satanic i don't i don't like the devil <laughs> i'm not into that i'm a being of the light i love people i want to share that with the world period it is not the person this is why divination people who use divination unfortunately get a bad rep and it's because of a lot of the malpractice it's a lot of negative energy that you know these people can go on amazon and get this deck i mean it's not hidden they can get this deck and they can do what they do and do rituals that that's a decision that they make right so what they do is these darker energies they monitor you <clears throat> and they watch you they use their powers to watch you and if they feel like they can't do it they're not spiritual enough or tapped in enough to do it themselves what do they do they go to a practitioner they hire a practitioner to watch you to stalk you because they want to see they will hire i mean this is this is just sad at this point really but hear me out these people are so desperate for your energy they will go to a psychic they will hire a psychic who is of the darkness they will hire a psychic to foresee what abundance what blessings are coming into your life in the future and what they'll do is once they find out oh look this person's going to have some sort of big abundance coming to them they're going to get a lot of money da 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 whatever they're going to have a baby whatever it is then now this this person this dark energy knows what's coming to you and so what do they do they try to stop it that's when they try to come back into the picture they try to come back they try to steal your energy you know god forbid they try to physically harm you in some way to try to prevent whatever blessing you have coming to you it is desperation at its finest it is so sad and it it really pains me to know that people are doing this because we were not sent here to do that we were not sent here to do that and it is sad but it is a truth if you are like me sorry if you are like me you need to know that you're protected okay even if you are a chosen one and you are a being of the light you still need to keep yourself protected you still need to pray you need to meditate you need to keep yourself high vibe and that is the best protection you can do stay in that frequency do not let these people lower your frequency do whatever you have to do to get into that frequency that love frequency that that um abundant state of mind you need to know that there are big blessings coming your way and that these people cannot and will not stop you they could try all day it ain't gonna work <laughs> it's it's pretty pretty pathetic at this point but anyways um this is basically me saying there is someone i have there's a few people that have been monitoring me and watching me and it honestly it's sad 
it really is sad. If it's not on social media and if it's not on YouTube, if it's not them actually physically try paying people to find out where I live, I kid you not, these are desperate, desperate people. It's very sad. If it's not that, it's someone remote viewing and it's someone who is watching watching me through the spiritual realm. And if it's not that, this this is even more advanced. When you sleep, I'm sure you guys are aware, when you sleep, you astral project naturally. You might you might not remember it, but you astral project. Your soul literally leaves your body. You if you're someone who wakes up with a lot of anxiety, you just don't know why. Like you go to sleep happy, you know, you you sleep well. You wake up with like just so much anxiety and like your body feels rigid and you feel tense and you feel like not pain but just tension in your body. Maybe your bones feel a little like weak or whatever. There's a a good chance and you're spiritual, there's a good chance you are getting attacked at night while you're sleeping. In the spiritual realm, you are getting attacked. You're battling. And Guess who it is, these spirits that are monitoring you. They are trying so hard to beat you. But once again, I got to say it because I got to say it for the motherfuckers in the back. When you are a being of the light, you are just divinely protected. Nobody can mess with you. It's just that simple. I don't know how many times I got to say it. It's just sad at this point. I have been through the craziest black magic i've had so much black magic done on me and it, it's been i've had death spells done on me i've had i've been drugged before like i can i can really go on here and i every chance that i got i prayed i prayed and i prayed and i prayed and these were the very low points of my life and i still managed to get out of that and become my greatest version these were the days where i had literally nothing and i still overcame that and i know it pisses these people off because if i tried to do all that and then i saw you prosper after and i was at a low frequency i would be mad too i get it and you look good while doing it. Damn. Yeah, God is so good. Anyways, <laughs> we're going to pull some tarot. I just want to get like a little channeled message to see what's in the energy for y'all. Okay. So as I said, this is not only... For me, I know that I definitely channeled this for other people. And I know a lot of other chosen ones are unfortunately are dealing with this. People are watching you. People are trying to monitor and watch you in the spiritual realm. There's a lot of gang stalking going on here. But I'm hearing you need to um, keep pushing forward. Keep, like, pay these people no mind, because... <sighs> Honestly, these are your fans. You got to look at it that way. You're literally just doing you. You're trying to be the best version of yourself possible, and these people are just watching you. All right. Holy Spirit, Holy Angel, Spirit, Gods, and Ancestors, I wish to connect with you at this time. I pray that you use my body as a vessel to channel this message for the collective. Archangel Michael, I ask that you please watch over this reading, this energy pool. I ask that you please protect my energy, protect the collective's energy. I ask that you please rebuke any negativity, any curses or hexes that are being sent my way or to the collective. Thank you. Amen. Okay, we're going to get the overall energy. What's the overall energy, spirit? Overall energy. Overall energy for the collective. The 
Four of Cups. Okay. Four. We have the Light Seers deck here, by the way. The Four of Cups. So, overall energy. I feel like you, you could be down about something. You could be depressed about something. Um, I'm also getting, like, I'm seeing the hermit in my third eye. Like, this is, it's not really like a, a de I don't want to say, it doesn't feel like a sad energy. It feels like you have been very isolated. You've been alone. You could be missing somebody. I'm also seeing the Six of Cups in my third eye. Um, you could be missing someone. Someone from your past. Or this could be, this could be somebody that, f how they feel. This could be somebody feeling this way about you. Yeah. This could be somebody that misses you. They feel like they lost an opportunity with you. They lost a chance with you. This is someone who's very much, if this is someone else, this is someone who is feeling very emotional about you. We're going to clarify that. Why is this the overall energy, Spirit? Why is this the overall energy? That might not be your energy. I don't... I don't think that's your energy. This might be someone else. What is the overall energy about, Spirit? Clarify that. Okay, we have the Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords. Oh, damn. And the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> so, oh, shit, I got to show it. All right. Okay. So, the Queen of Pentacles, I feel like this is you. The Queen of Swords, I feel like this is this is definitely someone else's energy. This is someone in the past that they could have um stopped talking to you. This could be a friend. This is another feminine energy. This could be a friend. This could also be a same-sex relationship. Um, this is someone that kind of acted like they didn't really care about losing you, about talking to you. This is someone who definitely ghosted you. And they could have acted very nonchalant, like they don't, eh, like, you know, I don't really care. But it's crazy because this person is actually, they're in their bag about you. They're definitely, they're acting like they don't care, but this is someone who definitely wants to talk to you. This is someone who is definitely, I feel like a regretting energy. This is someone who regrets not putting in the work, not investing anything into you. This is someone who didn't see you as an investment at the time but they're realizing that now because with the four of cups being the overall energy this is someone who has been reflecting a lot they've been thinking a lot on the past they've been thinking about their actions this is someone who's like stumped they feel like they can't move on they're waiting for something and then here you are this is the queen of pentacles this is the queen of pentacles baby that's you you're abundant you're grounded you standing on business? What? <laughs> Once again, these are also, this is an energy of people are watching you from afar. They're watching you in this independent energy. You have your, you've, you're secured, you're self-made. And at the same time, you handle yourself with such elegance. I could be talking to a divine feminine Or if you're, if you're a masculine, um, your feminine energy is very balanced, very grounded, which is, that's always a good thing. Okay, 
We're gonna get some more cowards. Uh, what else do I need to know, Spirit, about this energy for the collective? We have the moon in reverse. Mm. We have the moon in reverse. <sighs> yeah, so this is this is what I said. Um, somebody is gaining clarity. They're realizing the truth about not investing into you, not talking to you. This is someone who thought at the moment. I'm also hearing um, this is someone that doesn't, they don't think before they speak. This is someone who also could have lied to you about something. They could have kept things from you. And this person now is realizing that that was a mistake. I'm also getting, if this is a relationship, this is someone who is afraid to, in, it's like they're afraid to commit to you. They're afraid to commit to you. Um, they didn't see you as a long-term investment. This is somebody who, I don't, to be real with you, I don't think they saw anybody as a long-term investment. They weren't looking for that. But now this is someone who is realizing that you are irreplaceable. Whether this is a friendship, a relationship, take it as it resonates. Um, this is someone who, it's like they got humbled. They're gaining clarity on this. And that, that is exactly why the Four of Cups is the overall energy here. This is someone who's been really thinking a lot. Mm, okay. Um, why are we reading about this, Spirit? Why are we reading about this? Ooh, the King of Swords, too. Oh, my God. <laughs> Shit. The King of Swords fell on top of the Queen of Swords. So this is a... Okay. When that happens, typically for me, this is... um. This is a divine counterpart. So take that as it resonates. Divine counterpart for me is, could be your a soulmate, could be a karmic. Well, no, actually it can't be a karmic. Could be a soulmate, could be a twin flame. Um, it's just, it's your divine counterpart. You take it as, as it resonates. <clears throat> Um, either way, this is a very spirit, this is a spiritual connection here. So the nine of wands and justice here. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'll show you all real quick. Nine of wands and justice. So this is someone I feel like this is someone who tried to mirror your energy. And now I'm actually seeing you as the, you're the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords. So it's giving Empress energy here. Um, you could have blocked this person. You could have stopped talking to this person. And this person tried to act like, okay, well, you don't want to talk to me? Fine, I don't, I'm not going to talk to you. It's giving kind of like petty energy. This is someone who tried to mirror your same energy, right? Mm -hmm. This is someone who could also have, um, they could have blue eyes. They could be a little bit older. Mm. <clears throat> nine of wands, nine of wands. I feel like you, you feel a little um, defensive around this person. This person could have really hurt you, left you wounded, and I feel like you had to kind of pick yourself up from that. And because of that, I feel like you're very protective over your energy, over yourself, and that's exactly why you're showing up as a queen of uh, swords. Now, justice here, while we're reading about this, 
Ooh, baby, the scales need to be evened. The scales need to be evened. This is divine, this is divine justice being, being brought here. This basically means um, this person has been going through karma. The scales have been even because this person, I feel like they hurt you. They lied to you about something. Yeah. Ace of Wands in reverse. Okay, let, let's get one more card, Spirit. One more. And while we're reading about this, one more. Oh my God, the Six of Cups. Didn't I tell you this person misses you? This is definitely a past life connection. Um, this is someone, this could be a soulmate. This is someone that you could have grown up with too. Hmm. You could have known them since you were a kid. I feel like spiritually, this is a very spiritual connection and this person did something really bad to fuck this up. They, I feel like they hurt you really bad. And because of that, that's why justice is here. They've been experiencing karma. So if you've been thinking like, oh, is this person, you know, are they, are they like feeling my pain or whatever? Da, da, da. Baby, they, they not happy. Let, let's just say that. They, I'm seeing the tower in my mind. That they've been going through it and they miss you a lot. This is very, very obvious. Okay. All right. What's the advice here, spirit? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. The advice, the Ten of Wands in reverse. I'm going to take the Magician in the upright. And... Oh, the Empress. I told you. I'm sorry, I have to be quiet. It's like 7 o'clock in the morning and I don't want to wake my neighbor up. He's really nice to me. So well, I'm not going to do that. Um, oh my God, I'm going to show you. So we have the Ten of Wands, the Magician, and the Empress. Look at how beautiful this Empress card is. Oh my God, y'all can't see it because of glare. Look at that. Did, I literally said it earlier. It's giving Empress energy. So this is a divine feminine that I'm speaking to. Now look. For the advice, the Ten of Wands, I feel like in reverse, this is telling you to release this energy. With the Magician here in the upright, you are a very, very, very powerful manifester. You're the, you're the divine feminine. You can manifest like that, right? Spirit is advising you to release this energy for now. Um, if This may be somebody that you really do love or you care about, but you need to just release it and focus on yourself. I'm also seeing the Queen of Cups, um, my third eye. You need to release this, this energy in order to keep evolving and to keep growing because you have a lot of manifestations, a lot of, um, I'm also getting, you have a lot of spiritual gifts that are waiting for you. You have a lot of abundance that's coming to you and you need to be able to step into that energy, that Empress energy to receive. Oh yeah, my ears just started ringing. You need to be able to step into that energy to receive this. You can't manifest if you are at a low frequency. So with the Four of Cups being the overall energy, you could be a little depressed. You could be a little sad about this person. Maybe you miss them. Maybe it's vice versa. If this is your twin flame, um, it could be the case as well. If this is your twin flame, you could be essentially feeling their energy too. So you may wake up one day just feeling very sad, not knowing why. It could be their energy. You know, you never really know. I didn't know this was going to be a love reading, but doesn't it? It always goes into love. Anyways, <laughs> um, baby, you're the, you're the magician. Let, be so for real. You're, you're the magician and you're the empress, divine feminine. Step into that power. Acknowledge who you are. Know that spiritually, in the spiritual realm, you are untouched, you are pure, you are of God, you are a being of the light. 
you are very powerful and you need to remember that it's like you've kind of like you've forgotten this you've been you have been through so much with the nine of wands you're the wounded warrior you you have been through so much trials and tribulations that i feel like you forgot you forgot who you were you forgot who you were and i feel like spirit is telling you with justice here this is this is already being taken care of this person is being taken care of in, in, in terms of they're getting divinely helped. This is somebody that is experiencing, you know, their own, their own, their own uh, trials and tribulations that they have to go through. They have their own karmic lessons that they have to go through. You have to let it go and just do you. If this person is meant to come back to you, they will. And if not, God is going to supply you with love regardless. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Very strong energy. Okay. Anything else, Spirit, before we close this out? Ace of Wands and the Knight of Cups. Yeah, I feel like this person is being... Oh, okay. This, this person is being blocked from coming towards you. For now, this person is being blocked from coming towards you and having a passionate new beginning with you because... This person is still in this Knight of Cups in reverse energy, which means they could have been somebody who was emotionally um, manipulative. They could have been somebody who love bombed you. Um, they could have, I'm hearing, toyed with you, like played around with you, your emotions, gave you mixed signals. This is not a good energy. How, how the fuck? We're, I'm sorry, I, I don't like to curse. How are you going to show up as a knight Especially in reverse, not even in the upright. In reverse to a motherfucking empress. Do you see what I'm saying? This is the evolution I was talking about. You've been growing and you've been evolving. And people are watching you. People are keeping tabs on you. I'm not saying that this person is evil or bad. I don't, I don't believe that. They're just not at your frequency. They're not vibing with you. They're not at that, that vibration. And that's okay, because everybody learns at their own, oh my God, I'm channeling, crazy. Everybody learns at their own um, given time. But, yeah, that, mm. Ooh, look, and judgment at the bottom of the deck, too. Wow. This person's being judged. Yeah. I told you, they're getting assistance. They're, they're, they're. You have to trust God and trust that they are getting helped. They're doing the best that they can. They're trying to improve. Um, I'm seeing the star. They're trying to improve, but you gotta you gotta let it go. I know this is very hard, especially if you're in a twin flame connection. Trust me, I know that's hard, but you gotta let it go. The Divine Feminine is the one that really controls the whole push-pull narrative. You gotta let it go because look, Knight of Wands came out. This person keeps showing up as a knight. Keeps showing up as a knight. And, and how is it that you show up as a knight of wands in the upright? Which means you, you got a lot of passionate energy to give, yeah. But you don't need that. You're, you're the Empress. You don't, you need the Emperor. That's how that works. You don't an equally yoked relationship. You don't need a fucking knight. All this person can offer you right now is just passion. And there's no commitment here, if I'm being real with you, even though you deserve that. Don't settle for less. Don't settle for these people that are just going to come in and come out energy. This is, oh, not the devil coming out. I can't, not the devil. I can't make this shit up. I can't. Even if it was in the reverse, same concept. This is very toxic energy. These, this person or these people, they are very toxic for you right now. Even if this was in the reverse, which is a releasing energy, you need to release this energy. You need to get out of this energy. This person is trying to like hold on for dear life to your energy and you, you got to let go. You gotta let go. 
I'm hearing this is like the last thing that you need to do in order to really elevate. Because you're showing up as a Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords, but you're missing the Queen of Cups. You're missing the Queen of Cups. You're missing the Queen of Wands. So you're not in this Empress energy yet. But you will be. If you follow the divine path, you will be. You need to put pour all that, all that love that you have for this person. You need to pour all that back into yourself. That's where you get the Queen of Cups, self-love. And then the Queen of Wands, naturally, you'll be into this, in this energy of, I'm so confident, I know I'm, I'm radiating, I know I'm, a, I'm a, a warrior, I know I've been through a lot and I've, I've conquered a lot. Like, that is when you'll know you're the Empress because the Empress embodies all the queens in the deck. You feel me? So this is, I just realized, no, she, oh, she is nude. I hope I don't get flagged for that. I just realized, man, I don't care, whatever. But yeah, you need to let go. You got to let go. Release this energy. Okay, I think that's it. Um, I love you all. I hope that... Um, this resonated let me know in the comments drop a heart drop anything you want honestly <laughs> don't forget to like and subscribe on this video let me know if this resonates i pray that you are all protected i pray that you all protect your energy um i pray that you guys finally pour all that self-love back into yourself this is very important this is very critical this person you need to just let go. And I promise that everything will be fine. Everything will be fine. You have to trust that the universe is really working in your favor, because it is. Or God, or whatever you believe in. Uh, I pray that you guys are safe and protecting yourself and your energy. And until next time, I will catch you with another video. I love y'all. I love y'all. Oh, let me, let me just show you my dog. This is my protector. Look at her. Where is she at? She is sound asleep right now. She protects me from these dark spirits, these dark energies. Yeah. I pray that God protects you and may God bless all of you. Peace.